Good evening, folks, or good morning, or good afternoon, whatever time of the day it is. Welcome to the second uh, leg, if if you like. I don't know why I keep saying that. It is the second leg of our trip from Shoreham down to Barcelona. And um, so we're currently at Lid Airport here. That was the last episode. If you haven't seen that, please go and uh, check that one out first. And we are going to do this crossing across the channel and into Latuque. So I had an idea about possibly simulating an engine out. Um, I'm going to, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do a separate video on that. And um, uh, this is just going to be, uh, you know, the main objective, uh, objective here is to get down to Barcelona in one piece. So I'm not going to make things more difficult than they already are. But I will do a video on that because um, I'm going to do this in uh, real world once the weather gets a little bit better, hopefully early next year. Or if we get some nice weather between now and uh, before Christmas, then I might do it before then. But um, so in which case I'll need to know uh, the glide uh, path uh, so if we have an engine out, you know, we've obviously got to be at a certain altitude, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go into that now. I've learned a few things uh, doing that first video, uh, one of which is the issue of sound when I'm leaning over, changing stuff on the SciTech panels. Um, you can't hear me uh, when I'm doing that. So I'm going to try not to speak when I do things there. Um, what else did I learn? Uh... Oh, I can't remember. Some other stuff. Anyway, I've moved the webcam. Hopefully, there's a slightly better angle on the webcam. And let me, before we actually get into the sim, I'm just going to check that my volume levels haven't changed. Uh, why am I not seeing prepared on here? That's bizarre. Uh, hmm. Sorry guys, bear with me one second. Is it because that is like that? I don't know. Is it because it's paused? Hmm, very odd. Okay, anyway, hopefully the levels will be fine. Uh, let me just double check that again. Okay, that's better. Yep, so the levels are already set. They're still tied over from last time. So, as you can see, so we're at Lid Airport. Let me just quickly explain what we're doing. So, um, the last time we were here was in about this sort of position. I was showing the outside of the aircraft. We have now refueled, um, hypothetically speaking, and we are ready to go, except we're in a completely cold and dark state. And the reason for that is because I found a checklist online. So I thought um, once at least we'll go through the before start engine, start engine, before taxi, taxi, before takeoff. We'll do all the checks basically in this episode. Um, we probably won't do it each time just because it gets a little bit tedious. But I will try to do them off camera unless you want me to do them on camera, which I'm happy to do so. So just, um, you know, maybe let me know. It will certainly add to the realism. I've just spotted something that should be set to there. Why am I not? Oh, because it's paused. Let me unpause it. That should be there. Okay, and we're pretty much ready to go. So with that, I'm just going to rattle through these um, this checklist, and uh, I'll probably do things slightly wrong, uh, but bear with me. So external power we don't have. Uh, the brakes are on. Master battery switches uh, need to be both on. So that's that. That gives us power. Uh, that one as well. Um, our volts are checked. We'll assume they are. Uh, the strobe light needs to go on. Which it kind of already was, but that's alright. Um, sorry, bear with me. Mixture is full rich, which it is. We have a look down there. Uh, fuel pump, low boost. We actually only got on or off, so we're gonna, we'll put it on. Uh, propeller area is clear. Power lever, an inch open. Ignition switch to start. So there we go. While we're warming up. So we've got a 
move the ignition down to a thousand RPM. So what we'll do, oops, we'll just zoom in here. You can see our RPM here. We'll get this as close as to a thousand as we can, more or less. I'm not going to get too pedantic about it. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Uh, okay. Oil pressure checked. Uh, master switches on, which they are. Avionics power switch on. Uh, what else we got? Engine parameters were monitored. Uh, external power disconnected. That is it. That is our engine start checklist complete. So, before taxi, our flaps need to be up, which they are. Cabin heat and defrost as required. It's cold today, but it's not that cold. It's a very crisp morning, but it's it's above freezing. So, uh, well, you know, anyway, it's not too bad. Fuel selector um, uh, switch tank, which we're fine with that. Um, and that's it. So taxiing checklist, parking brake, disconnect, brake checks. Then we do all the, all, the, all the checks and various things. Before we do that, though, I'm going to put in our uh, flight plan and for that I I'm going to use the default one just because I'm not that uh, good at using the uh, why aren't we finding it here ok let's do it another way We'll go to France. Maybe I'm spelling it incorrectly. Let's see, Le Touque. I'm pretty sure it's Le. Okay, let me double check this. Am I being completely ridiculous here? No. Why isn't that coming up? Is it called something else? Oh, maybe it's a city. No. Oh, there it is. Paris Plage. Okay. Elfat. Yeah, that is the one. Uh, and we're going from Lid, which is there. We c VF. Uh, IF. Yeah, VFR. Find route. This stuff doesn't matter too much. We're going to go up to. 6,000 feet. Uh, we're going from Le to Le 2K. Okay. All right, done. So that's that. Uh, aircraft warming up nicely. I'll just back off the uh, zoom a bit. And I'll go full screen. Okay, so before taxi checklist, we've got parking brake disconnected, which it now is. We've got brakes checked, they work. HSI orientation check, altitude, gyro check, turn coordinator check. That's all good. So we'll taxi on out. Again, just to uh, reiterate, we're not using any ATC or anything like that. So. Um, We are using real world weather, but I'm not sort of taking that too seriously in the sense of anything. Uh, <laughs> so we're going to take off a taxi out to the uh, runway, but we're going to we're going to go. We're going to take off into in the direction we're going. There's very little wind surface wind today, so we can get away with that. Did ask, it didn't point out that we've got parking to put taxi lights on. Maybe that's not required. I don't no. know. I think it probably is. I'll just double check that while we're taxiing on out. Um, no. No. The light 
that our for takeoff checklist. So anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll go with that. This thing is really, as I keep saying, quite tricky to taxi. It really uh, does not mess around. Actually, sorry guys, let me just check one thing. I think I'm on historic, uh, where is it? Here, this one here. Switch to live weather. That's better, okay, I think that's gonna change our weather situation slightly because it doesn't look like this today in lid well not that I'm in lid but yeah, we'll see what it does it was like this this morning but then it's sort of clouded over yep that's more like it oh and we've got rain as well okay well it's not it hasn't rained in my part of the world but so it's not raining here. That's cool. Just check frames. Not ideal, but anyway, that'll do. Okay, so we'll we'll stop at the uh, at the line here, and we'll do our before takeoff checklist. set the parking brake and the doors are latched caps handle is pinned out seat belts and harnesses secure fuel quantity confirmed which it is fuel selector which is the fullest tank uh, fuel pump is low boost still mixture is rich which it is uh, flaps 50% and check so we'll do that and we'll check Transponder is set, it's not applicable in this case. Autopilot check, right? So, um, that is something we need to do. So, I'm going to set the runway heading 21 degrees. For some reason, this SciTech display has stopped working. Oops, I forgot. You can't hear me when I do that. So, I'm looking here. And I, I think I said 6,000 feet, so we've got 6,000. And uh, I can't see the vertical speed indicator, which is annoying. Anyway, I'll deal with that. I think I've got to start s SPAD or reset SPAD to do that. Anyway, we'll worry about that later. Flaps, transponders, so navigation, GPS set. Uh, brakes are on hold. Power level at 1,700 RPM. Well, we're currently way below that, so I don't quite know why. Okay, anyway. Uh, power level, alternator check. Okay, pit at heat is on. Landing, uh, nav, nav, nav lights on. Landing lights, your lights, check. Navigator lights, check. So, yeah, we won't do a run-up check. Voltage, okay, check, 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 check. Basically, check. Mixture full rich. Takeoff trim set, uh, which it is. Autopilot disconnected. Um, a normal takeoff. So this is a normal takeoff. You, there's options for a short field takeoff and an ROP climb. Uh, release brakes, power lever full forward. Uh, rotate at 70 to 73 and then flaps up at 80, 80 knots. So I think yesterday or in, in the previous video I said that the rotation speed was 80. So I got that wrong. Okay, so without further ado, let's get this show on the road. So we will check. Uh, traffic is enabled. So it's fully within reason to expect... Uh, something coming into land, so we'll uh, make sure that's not the case. And we'll turn it on to the runway. 
this point, you would probably ask for another weather check. We're not going to do that. We're going to do a rolling takeoff. We're straight. Everything's checked, and let's go. So looking for 72 knots for rotation. It's actually bugged on there. I don't know why I didn't see that yesterday. There we go. We are up. And flaps. So we'll climb out to about a thousand. And then we'll follow it. Well, well, yeah, actually, we'll, we'll, we'll make a slight right left hand turn. And we'll stay on track for crossing the channel. The other thing that I've just remembered to do, uh, which I haven't done, is to do my calibration which is kind of important so at some point during the flight I will have to quickly do that before we land um, I just want to make a better job of the landing than I did yesterday so that was pretty shabby so basically goodbye England hello France you're new, if you haven't seen the first video, um, you may well hear some crying. That is from my co-pilot, my eight-week-old daughter. So apologies in advance if that happens. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Right, let's do our after-takeoff check. Oxygen... Okay, yep, I've, I've just done it, basically. <laughs> it's all fine, it's all fine, it's all under control. Alright, so, Engage the autopilot just to help help us out. We're going to climb out through this cloud. Um, and we're going to get we're going to climb to six thousand feet. So there is, I guess, Dover, White Cliffs of Dover. There, just off the wing. And here we go. Our rate of Turbulence going on here. That is the stall warning you can hear there. Um, it's having a bit of trouble. But we're in pretty turbulent cloud. So what we're going to do. because it's a bit rough and we don't have that much time to get that high up um, yeah this is uh, rather interesting aircraft is struggling to do what the autopilot is telling it to do but it'll get there it's all right I have faith so we're getting battered around. Again, this would not be pleasant at all. In fact, it's downright dangerous. Or is it? Uh, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. We do have to watch our airspeed because it's... Um, we don't want to overstress the aircraft. So I might actually just come 
back off the power. Just to avoid. Yeah. It's uh, not behaving very well. Okay, we've now found the descent. Maybe that's a bit steep. Just take it up a bit. As you can see, we are getting jostled pretty intensely. Um, I'm just hoping the game doesn't decide it, that it's too much for the airframe and crash us, which, is a, which might happen, in which case you won't know about it because I'll just go ahead and record another one. And I won't tell you. No, I will. I will. I mentioned in the very first video that if anything like that, if anything happens and it's my fault, um, then I will always be completely honest and tell you and try to learn from it because that's that's why I'm doing this. If it's the computer, if the, like my PC crashes or something like that, I'll just re-record it. You don't really need to know that. It's just annoying for me. So that that's how we'll do things. So we'll whack, we'll just increase our power a little bit. So this is not that safe to do because um, if we did have an engine out, we would be, we would have no choice but to ditch into the channel, which would not be a pleasant experience this time of year. To be honest, it wouldn't be that pleasant any time of the year. It's freezing cold, even in the summer, and you've got a very limited amount of time uh, in uh, the water, skin to skin to skin. So what you would do, the normal procedure, is to wear life a life uh, suit which will insulate the warmth. It's basically a big wetsuit and an and a, um, inflatable, um, uh, keeps you afloat basically. But even in that, you're not gonna last that long. Um, fortunately, it's one of the most busiest shipping uh, lanes in the world, the English Channel, so there's plenty of ships around. But still, you do not wanna be ditching in the, uh, in the channel. So this is pretty dodgy. Ideally, I wanted to go above the cloud, but I think it's just going to prove too much turbulence. And I should have checked the uh, the weather before. But to be honest, we would have gone anyway, because that's what we do. Ferry flyers, dangerous flights, that's what it's about. So we're about halfway across the channel now. So at least we've at least there's that, and uh, but yeah, the weather is pretty gnarly. So much so, I'm going to have a sip of this very special magic grape juice. Uh, wine, in other words, and definitely shouldn't drink and fly or drink and drive, or do anything that puts your life at risk. Fortunately, we're in a simulator. So it's all good. So, um, let's just have a quick look at our checklist here. So our cruise checklist, oxygen as required, which it isn't required. Our fuel pump can actually come off now. So we'll do that. Cruise power is set. Lean, uh, uh, we're only at 4,000 feet, so our mixture should still be rich. Uh, engine parameters monitor, fuel flow and balance monitor. So our fuel gauges are actually down here. As you can see, used about just over, well, a quarter of a tank in the left side. So probably for the next flight, to balance it out, we'll use, we'll draw fuel from the, uh, from the right tank. Ah, is that, there we go. That's the fuel pump there. So we do have boost and high boost. So I lied. I've only got that. I've only got on and off on the actual SciTech panel. But anyway, we'll just read ahead. Cruise leaning. We don't need to do that. Maximum cruise power. We don't need to do that. So our descent checklist is as follows. We're not doing it yet, but we'll be doing it fairly soon. Altimeter set. Cabin heat. Uh, landing lights on, fuel system check, power as required, mixture as required, brake pressure check, 
oxygen as required. So no real, uh, no real um, concerns there. That's all fine. And our before landing check. Well, we'll do that later. We're not quite ready to think about that just yet. Won't be long though. Getting mis misty and murky out there. I hope we have good visibility in Latuke. Guess we'll find out. I hope you guys don't mind me taking a few liberties with with these flights because that's kind of what they do. I don't know if you've seen the Dangerous Flight series. I really love it. There's, I think there's three series out. Well worth um, checking out. There we go. Weather decoded for Alfat. Winds 140 at 6 knots. Visibility 10 miles. Clouds overcast at, at uh, 2,600 feet. So that's that's fine. And it's not raining currently. So that is all working in our favour. Um, what was I saying? Dangerous flights. Yeah, they take a lot of liberties. They would, you know, they fly when really perhaps they shouldn't. I don't know. Some of it's probably dramatised. Um, it is perf probably perfectly safe, but it keeps you on the edge of your seat and there's, you know, it's well worth checking out. Try and get us on the magenta line a little bit. Helps if I'm on heading select. Okay, so the same procedure applies. We're going to fly over the airfield at about 1800 feet, assess the situation, and uh, make a landing. We'll do some kind of circuit, and ideally I need to get out of this cloud, so I'm going to descend a little bit. Going out to 2,800. See what that does. See whether we break it down. I guess this is us, kind of our descent. I suppose we're not really high enough to warrant a full descent checklist. We will do the uh, full landing checklist. Um, hmm. Okay. I can't remember what, what it said. I think it was, was it 2,600 feet, the, the cloud base? Mm, can't see much right now. See, it looks like we're maybe breaking through. Let's carry on our descent. Let's get down to 2,000. Get up to 2,000 feet. Six nautical miles out, and here we go. We're just breaking through now. Beautiful. And as you can see, the 2K is pretty much dead ahead, or kind of, I guess, 11 o'clock right here. And we're going to do a s we're going to do a left-hand circuit again. We'll, we'll land um, towards the sea, if that makes sense, because we do have a bit of a tailwind. That is the plan. That's a pretty quick, uneventful. I don't know. No, it wasn't really uneventful. But um, anyway, we're here. Here's France. Amazing. Looks like England. 
That's not England with better wine. No. I joke. There's some great wine in the UK. I mean English wine, if you're into that kind of thing. Right, we'll continue down. Going out to 1,400 feet. And while we're doing that, I'll just read you some of the uh, normal landing numbers. So entry speed, that's entry to the circuit, 120 knots. So we're, you know, we're a bit below that. doesn't matter. When we're a, a beam needs to be, f uh, beam flaps 50%. So when we pass the numbers, base speed is 90 knots. Approach flaps are 100% and approach speed is 80 knots. So we'll try and, we'll do our best. That's all we can do. Read that again. A beam flaps need to be 50%, and beam power is 11 millibar uh, MP pressure, manifold pressure. That's the one. All right, so jostled around a bit. Not too bad though. Okay. I have to do this. Sorry guys. And uh, I'll make sure I do this before in the future. But maybe um, this will be useful. I don't know. You pr I'm sure you probably know how to do this already. A quick calibration uh, on my ailerons. Elevator. You can see the numbers have changed. And most importantly, my rudder. Now, I've got to hang on to the desk to do this. It's a bit embarrassing. I need to get a non-slip mat, really. 64, that hasn't changed. That has changed. And then that has changed. So, OK, good. We should be all good now. Okay, we're probably just about a beam, not quite. Uh, not quite, not quite. But we, we, we can see us getting really kind of smashed around a bit. Alright, so we'll go 50% flaps. This has got three stages of flaps. So th the second setting is 50%. And I'm going to disconnect the autopilot. And we're going to hand fly this thing. So as we're doing this, well I think we need to, I'm just going to, speed a beam speed 100 knots so we're th we're thereabouts our base speed we need to be at 90 so I'm just going to decrease the power a wee bit that should uh, sort that out I wouldn't mind getting down to about a thousand feet I'll just trim for that Fuel pump needs to go on. Our landing lights and all of our lights have remained on. Um, and that is our landing checklist complete. So we'll make this space turn. Ideally, we want to be at 90. Let's see if we can achieve that. And get if we're at about a thousand feet, that would be grand, but we're not too pedantic about that. Just have a quick look out the window. We're doing good. Alright, 
So we don't want to be dipping any lower really than a thousand feet. So I'm just trimming up a bit, add a little bit of power. And still getting blown about a bit. Pretty much on the glide path at this point in terms of happy lights, so that's good. We'll just tootle along for a little bit longer. go full flat. I need to get a new computer desk really so I can uh, put these things down. Glass is nice but it's not quite useful. So I'm going to start this turn now as coordinated as it can be and as always I'll probably shut up a bit for the uh, actual landing itself. Oops, we shot that a bit, never mind, correct it. So we're gonna maintain 80 knots for the, for the approach all the way in. So our power setting is gonna stay pretty much, well maybe, maybe about 30%. Doing my best to line up, fighting the wind. Mixture is rich, we are really getting blown about. Uh, doors and harnesses secured, fuel pump is on. We're good to go. A little bit high, but I don't mind at this stage. Okay, now it's a little bit of a concern, so power back a little bit. Try and maintain 500. 80 knots. Whoa. A little bit high, down on the power. Two reds. That'll do. Nice. Okay, so just trying to hold center line and trying to counteract any wind. Anyway, here we go. Slight flare, power off. Leading that airspeed off, oh, and there we go, we're down. So it flaps up, we could have potentially come off at that taxiway, but never mind. We'll save the brakes. I'll just apply a little bit of gentle braking here. We might have to backtrack, I don't know if there's a... Is there an exit here? Yeah, there it is. That's good. Okay, so we'll come off here. And welcome to Latouque, France. We have made it into a different country on our second leg down to Barcelona. So it's kind of cool. Made it in one piece. So our landing lights have come off. Fuel pump can come off. And we'll just taxi on out. Let me just have a quick look at the uh, checklist and see if there's anything that I've missed. After landing, power, fuel pump off, flaps up, as required. Yep, yep, all done, all done. So now what we do is we park we park up and we go and find a nice restaurant somewhere and eat and drink 
not to excess. And then um, we are we're going to fly the next leg. Uh, we're going to take a bit of a break, take a couple of hours break. Um, the time now is about. Uh, I think it's probably about half twelve. We left. We'll, no, we left at ten to twelve midday. So, and that journey took us about thirty something minutes. So, it's probably about half past half past twelve, something like that. So, we'll take a couple of hours break. Then we'll set off again. So I'll park at this uh, fueling station here. And we'll do we'll do the shutdown checklist. But just to be clear, guys, um, I probably won't. I'll do some of the checklists in each flight, but I'm not going to get too uh, bogged down with it. I, I, I'm, I'm only doing it for my own benefit, really. Of course, it's not real world stuff. But anyway, we'll follow it to the T for the shutdown so um, avionics switch uh, fuel pump if used off which it is uh, throttle to idle ignition mags to cycle and that should be on there mixture cut off so we'll do that and I've just dropped my phone brilliant amazing Never mind. It's going to shut the engines down. Let me just grab this. Sorry about that. And I've lost my checklist. One second, one second, one second. Okay, 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 okay. Shut down. Okay, throttle mags, mixtures cut off, all switches off. Okay, bear with me when I do that. So that's all lights and stuff taken care of. Ignition and mags to off, which it is. Um, and then all switches obviously means master battery off. And then it's chocks, tie downs, and the covers and stuff. So that is pretty much done and dusted so let's open the door get a breath of that lovely French air and here we are so I hope you've enjoyed that whoops just uh, zoom out here again look at that not a scratch on her absolutely gorgeous little aircraft it really is aesthetically very nice it's kind of like it's like a Porsche isn't it or something like that Maybe a Ferrari. It's not quite a Ferrari. It's a Porsche. It's a nice little sports car. I'm not sure if it's a 911. Uh, eh, it's probably more like a a Boxer. No, I don't know. I shouldn't say that. No, this is this is the Cirrus, uh, the GTS XC Turbo. I think it's called. Is the top of the range Cirrus SR22. So I suppose this is the fully spec. Uh, Porsche 911. Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. There we go, guys. We are in France. I hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, please tune in for the next episode, our third leg from uh, Le Touquet over to Cherbourg. Let me just double check that. Yeah, so Le Touquet here. Now, this is a bit of a longer flight. Um, oh, Le Havre. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, that's... Schoenberg there. So, um, yeah. 84 nautical miles. So that, you know, it's not going to take that long, but it's going to be longer than this. Obviously, you can see that on there. So um, we'll think of some things to talk about and some things to do along the way. We're going to see this beautiful coast along here. Uh, and we'll talk about, uh, you know, our other plans. Here's a, just a zoomed out version of of what we're doing, where we're going. So you can see the route, 13 stops, and the weather should improve as we get further down here. The Bay of Biscay, which is this sort of area, notorious for winds and things down here, so that's going to be interesting. Um, 
but yeah, there we go. I've thought about the other thing just before we do go is to make it a bit more interesting. There's no reason to do it at all. But I thought about flying to Jersey just because I've got the Jersey uh, EG JJ scenery. So maybe instead of going here, we might go from Cherbourg to Jersey and then from Jersey down here to Vans, which is kind of a long way. But yeah, we might do that just because it's kind of fun. I don't know. We'll see. We, we may well alter this slightly along the way. And I guess the big alteration again here might be from Mont, Mont de Masson. We might fly directly over the Pyrenees. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. But anyway, as always, guys, please like and subscribe. Please give me some comments, feedback. Please share on all the social media type things. And I hope you've enjoyed it and we will see you in the next part of the journey down to Barcelona. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and see you next time. Cheers.